I'm Mark Chapman. I run Concept Fine Wines. I wanted to give you a brief introduction to the company, but because I can't do that in a dry format, I've also got some wines to try to taste today. I've got a classic Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand and a red grape variety that's a little bit different from Argentina. I set Concept Fine Wines up in 2008 with the aim of dealing with small vineyards, not commercial vineyards, not found on the high street, small vineyards that are more interested in producing a quality wine. A lot of them are run by families, some of them are organic, either practicing or certified, but they, they care about the wine they produce. They don't produce mass commercial product, they care about the quality and the quantity that they produce. I mentioned New Zealand and Sauvignon Blanc earlier, and this is what I've got in my hand, a classic New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc from Marlborough, which is north of the South Island. And we're gonna taste this now. And what you want from a great Sauvignon Blanc is freshness, lots of fruit, and it's just a really nice, easy drinking wine. And it's very exotic on the nose, lots of fruit, elderflower, passion fruit, grapefruit. Oh, how good is that? It's just giving you everything you want. You've got lots of fruit. Fruit's coming through, the acidity's coming through. It's just delicious, a perfect wine, not only for summer, but all the year round. And it's great with food. And what you want with food, with this, you would want uh, shellfish. Go perfectly with shellfish, or even goat's cheese. Classic food pairing is goat's cheese and Sauvignon Blanc, and this would work perfectly. The other wine I mentioned that I brought earlier is this red. It's from Argentina, and it's something slightly different. A lot of red, red wine now from Argentina is Malbec. That's what people associate with it. But this is a great variety called Bernarda. Something slightly different. It's from Mendoza, which is the main region in Argentina and accounts for about three quarters of their wine. Originally, it heralds from northern Italy. Slight conjecture as to exactly where, but I would say Piemont in northern Italy. But there's now a lot more of this planted in Argentina. And it just offers something different. And we're going to taste this now. And these lovely red fruits on the nose. It's really delicate, not overpowering, but there's lots of flavour coming through. And on the palate, that's just so easy drinking, so velvety, so smooth. There's lots of red fruits there. A little bit of touch of fig, possibly. And this wine gets about three months in oak barrels. So there's a little bit of oak, but it's not overpowering and not overwhelming. It's just all very balanced, very smooth. And it's just delicious. And for food, I would, I mean, perfect with something like a wild mushroom risotto, vegetables, or even pasta with a tomato sauce. This would work absolutely wonderfully. And it just offers something slightly different. On the retail side of things, everything can be done online, by telephone, by email. It's set up so it's simple with no minimum order and the company sends wine all around the country. As well as offering other services such as a newsletter, a gift service and a wine club, my company runs wine tasting events. These are set up for whether you've got a group of friends together, a group of work colleagues and they can be done with wine, wine and cheese, whiskey and as a professionally trained barista also coffee tasting events. So if the idea of an evening or an afternoon with wine, some wine and cheese, with coffee, and finishing with a dram of Scotland's finest might be of interest to you, your friends, or your clients, then please do get in touch.